wearing right now is probably my favorite of all time and these are the siesta rose pink and i'm not a fan of pink or pink lenses but i really like these um these are pink on the outside and they're like a yellowish gray color on the inside they remind me of a pink version of my mandarins if you remember my mandarins are my absolute favorite of all time they've got an orange ring around them and they're kind of like a gray green in the middle these are exactly like that for the most part except pink oh, excuse me if you see bits of hair on my face because i just try to cut my bangs and um like an idiot i did it right before my video and so i've got like little bits of hair all over my face but um you can see exactly how gorgeous these lenses are these are so 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 pretty from a distance you know they just look kind of like pink but i think they look really unique and um i'm a huge fan of these oh my god look at my face Whew. All right, so I love all of the Siesta Sahara that I've ever tried, except for this one. <laughs> this is the worst one out of the entire lot of the ones that I have today, and I hate to say that so much. This is the Siesta Sahara Sunrise, and I held back on these because I thought they just look like brown eyes, but then the more I looked at them, I thought, well, they kind of look red, so sunrise, maybe it'll be like a kind of reddish color like the Ruby Chaco. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and try it because the coverage is usually really, really good with the Siesta Saharas. But they, to me, just look like brown eyes. Um, enlarging. I have a separate clip I'll add here that shows it next to my natural eye. So it's lighter than my eye and bigger than my eye but it's still just a brown eye so i mentioned this in my other video my prelude to this and i'm going to mention it again but do you guys prefer if i talk about the color like i just did and i did for the other one or do you prefer if i just list the color quickly and just do a close-up of like what it looks like under the lights like this looking around and um and then maybe showing one in one do you like the more in-depth reviews or do you like just the quick two minute long videos just quickly showing the colors um whichever way you guys like it i would like to do the videos like that for you just so i could have you know something that you guys would rather sit through so um just let me know what you think and i will do it but, um, I mean, it is a pretty color, but it's nothing special. All right, so this is the Color Play Red Spiral, and this is my second least favorite. Um, I I got the White Spiral, and I just feel like these in person the red's not all that red, and definitely you can't really see the rings. So even up close, the rings are not that visible. Um, I mean, the contacts are only $10, so they are cheap. I can see the rings there, but I mean, even if you're this close to me, you can't see them. So if you can't see the design on them, really, they're just red contacts. So I was kind of disappointed with these. I think a stronger black line, a smaller pupil hole, brighter red, and a stronger black line would have made these a lot, lot better. But I mean they're still good for Halloween. And if you know how to edit, I'm sure you can darken the lines and make them more visible if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on them. I mean, I can see them. I just can't see them clearly. All 
All right, I remember in my earlier videos, I completely dogged the Pearl series because I said that um, the, between Sparkle and Pearl, Sparkle had more coverage and Pearl really didn't. You couldn't see anything. Well, I've got the Pearl Green and I've also got the Pearl Blue and they are both very vibrant. I don't know how I missed them before, but um, I kind of feel a little dumb for dogging them so much because these have got a whole lot of color as you can see these are extremely vibrant and extremely bright and um, you can see the sparkle design on them really really well like they shimmer and shine like nobody's business these are really really pretty lenses I still don't like that the pupil hole is big but these lenses are so hugely pigmented that it's actually crazy how much color is in these I wish I had these back in the day when I was an idiotic young adult. These are the pearl, um, the pearl blue. Yep, pearl blue. And um, these are super pretty and they are the exact shade of blue. Um, don't do this. But when I was younger, you know, I've got bad eyesight. And um, back in the day, there, there really wasn't that many you know, different colors. There weren't that many different colors like there are today. And colored contacts were definitely not that easy to find. I mean, you were lucky if you found the tri-colored, um, fresh look, um, fresh look color blends, uh, realistic contacts. And I'd go to Mexico and buy those cause they're all I could afford. And they weren't even for my stigmatism, just my prescription. And I still couldn't see, but I could kind of see. And I just really wanted color, very, very vibrant, bright color. And because that's when I was in my heaviest goth stage, I really wanted something wow, you know? So what I used to do is I would get a pair of um, blue prescription contact lenses and I would put them over whiteout lenses so that the blue would be very light and very vibrant and they suffocated my eyes, totally not good for you, but they gave me this color. Now I can get this color in just one lens and I don't need prescription anymore. I'm lucky I didn't go blind with what I did, but this is a really, really pretty, bright bright light blue color and uh again with a big pupil hole i hope this isn't blurry um big pupil hole but lots of sparkle lots of shine and lots and lots of pigment All right, this one boggles my mind. Um, I wanted to try these lenses because the reviews, there was only like two reviews and they were bad. And I was like, you know what? They don't look that bad to me. So I'm going to try them. And this is the Sparkle Alexandra. And people were like, oh, they look like Halloween lenses. They look like you're a zombie. They're ugly. They don't look good. They look really fake. I like them. They just look like a really pretty grayish green color. So up close, um, you know, again, big people hole, but, um, they're a gorgeous color. I love the dark limbal ring and I love the sparkle. I really hope you guys can see, but I think that it's probably going to be blurry and I'm sorry, but, um, you know, as always, I show the lenses in their cases as well. So you see what they look like off of my face, but look at how pretty you can see the details in these lenses um, look at all the strokes and look at how pretty that color is I mean these these contacts are beautiful I don't know why people give them such a bad review I don't know what they were smoking but I love these and I wish I had tried them sooner and even though they're sparkle I mean they've got great pigment I mean they are they're natural looking and um, they're actually one of my top favorites
you guys, the last two are my top, 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 top. I know I said that the, um, the pink ones were my top, but I actually forgot how pretty these were. So the next pair is my top. This is my second top and the pink are my third. This is the, um, this is the bliss siesta black bliss lilac. Now you remember, I from day one, I have talked up the black line, the siesta black line, black bliss. Cause I, I, I love the black romance, black bliss. I hadn't really, for some reason I never really paid too much attention to. And I just went back and I looked at these colors that I hadn't had before. Oops. Cause remember I, I told you I'd stayed away from blue. The next pair is blue. Um, and I, you know, I, never really thought too much about purple, even though purple was what I loved when I was younger. Um, and I really regret not getting these sooner because these lenses are amazing. The detail in the lens themselves, the brush strokes, they look so realistic. I mean, the color, obviously not, but the blue definitely. Um, but the, the detail in the lens themselves, I mean, it, it is gorgeous. I hope that it shows up clearly enough so you can see something or other and if not i'll just have to rely on what i filmed in the case but look at these lenses look at how pretty they are and the color is so highly pigmented i actually went back to look and see if there's any other bliss that i missed and i don't think there is but um i love these lenses to death All right, so this is the Black Bliss C, and I think once upon a time I said that the the um, the cloud blue was my favorite blue, but I hadn't tried these. Um, the denim was also a pretty color, but C are beautiful. They're like a dark blue with light blue streaks in them. Um, oh, come on, focus. So again, the detail and the actual lens is absolutely amazing. You could like see all the little brush strokes in there and you can see all the little details that gives it uh, a, a different kind of depth that normal contacts don't really have, especially, you know, like in the costume lenses. But, um, oh my God, like I can see, I can see the, the different strokes even from here. I mean, look at look at these lenses look at how pretty those are you can't tell me these aren't like some of the most beautiful blue lenses you've ever seen and without the bright light in your face that makes your pupil contract it blends in a lot a lot better you know in in person but um man i i so regret not trying these out sooner see this is why i keep going back and why i keep wanting to review more and more and more because there's things that i've overlooked or that I thought maybe wouldn't be too good. And they end up being like, oh my God, why didn't I look at these sooner? And I really just want to keep sharing this with you guys. I mean, I get messages all the time with people asking me for suggestions and do I prefer this or do I prefer that? Or can I review this and can I review that? And, you know, I'm more than happy to give you guys my opinion and to try out different lenses for you, especially if I haven't already. Maybe it's something I just didn't think of and I didn't think would suit or that anybody would like, but I mean, they do, they do, they're beautiful. And, um, I still plan on redoing all of my videos. I've just got to gather the videos together or the contacts together and be like, these are all my blues. These are all my grays. These are all my yellows and my browns and my greens and just have them. But I probably won't talk during that. I'll probably just do a close up of the color just so you can see color versus color. But I haven't done those yet because those are going to be extremely time consuming, especially since I don't remember everything that I have or what they're all called. And I want to be able to list the proper context for you guys so you know what you're looking at. Um, but I will get around to it. But it is so good just to be able to go back and get more stuff and try out more stuff so that I can recommend better and better lenses to you guys. And these are, these are, these have blown my mind when I opened them and I saw the absolute detail in these lenses. I just couldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for now. 
I'm not sure when I'll do another one, probably in a, another month or so. Um, but you know, we're going to be moving and doing all this stuff. So I'm going to be busy, uh, trying to do other things and reorganizing some stuff. And, you know, I'm still working and things and like that, uh, things and like that. Uh, so I will, I'll be back with another video when I see some more stuff I'd like to review and, uh, let me know again if there's anything you guys actually want to see and I will get them and I will review them for you. If there's anything that you want to see compared, let me know and I will do a comparison for you as well. Um, any suggestions or ideas you have, I'm more than happy to do what I can as always. And, um, until I see you guys next time, take care and, um, hope you enjoyed this. I was blown away by 90% of these lenses and, um, I'm just glad I finally got a chance to review them and uh, I didn't just give up and say doesn't look good because I love them, almost all of them. I also wanted to share this awesome little case here. This is a, an ice cream case. And it's got like these cool little crystals and inside the case, you know, it's got your, your usual, I don't know if I can open it one handed, but it's got the contact lens and, um, you know, your tweezers and your little suction cup and your thing for eye drops. And then I've got this other one, which is adorable. And this is a little, um, lollipop one. And the reviews for this one, people were like, oh, it's so cheap. It came and the lollipop wasn't even attached. So my lollipop's attached. And even if it wasn't, I mean, you could just glue it on. But this thing is the cutest. I actually would like the whole set because they've got different kinds of candy or like kitty cat paws. And um, inside this one, you can see it's got, you know, the same thing, the mirror, the case. They all come pretty standard. Um, it's got one green side and one pink side. Um, but this is really cool. Like, I've got this awesome little collection of lens cases and um, they're so unique and nice to look at and I love them all.